My father says nothing happens that it isn't supposed to. Hey guys, it is day two of Winter's Tale weekend and we are at a place where they shot Winter's Tale in there and let, I guess outside and outside counts too because the the tent her her little like hot space tent where she could sweat all she wants like was up yes, there on the tower you can't really see but it was actually legitimately shot it's on where, the tower which we it's where that gigantic to to. tree is yeah imagine past that maybe we'll cut to some footage from winter's tale or something but uh yeah we came here to it this is our first movie pilgrimage I guess um, where we, we learned about Winter's Tale, and we found out that there's a gallery in there where they shot the scene where she plays piano, which is funny because that scene's actually not from this part of the movie. It's from the earlier part. But you see you actually, some of the sculptures uh, and the other elements in the room. You could see it in the scene, so it was there. You can actually see the window. It's like that one like right in the yeah. middle with all the little heart and teardrop shaped curly whatnots. Oh, you can tell I know a lot about architecture and interior We're design. very refined. Uh, and we also learned that they actually did shoot on top of the tower. We learned that this exterior was shot. We also learned that like in the movie it makes it look like if we turn the camera around you would see the river and it would be right there. And the river is right there. But there's like a bunch of trees and train tracks. So that was all movie chicanery. We also learned that not very many people here care about Winter's Tale <laughs> except us. There is a single DVD in the gift shop and that's it. Not very many people here know yeah. what was yeah. going and on while they the were tour, shooting. We he asked the tour guide. informed about lots of things. No, not Winter's Tale though. Not Winter's Tale. But we did find some fun things. Like we found a weird picture or a bust of two apathetic twins that I thought looked like the little girl a little bit. The secret uh, creeper guy. Yeah. That picture was cool. There's a secret creeper guy that was fun. And there was actually a bedroom that has a uh, light blue painting and then real gold stars, which we'll post a picture of. Um, and it's actually painted with gold. And it's they like did 14 not, karat gold. Like it's legit. not just gold paint. Yeah. And if they had actually shot the deflowering scene in this house, it would have been in that room. That's where the magic would have gone. And at one point, our tour guide misspoke and he said lake and then he said stars. So Peter Lake searching for his stars or and whatnot was in there. We were sitting in the corner like giggling to herself. <laughs> like, she's like, oh. we and of course like it doesn't make sense anymore. We did, the, the tour guy was very well informed about this house, but when we asked him stuff about Winter's Tale, he had no idea what we were yeah. talking about. <laughs> which is, to be fair. fair, nobody saw that fucking movie, including him, which just, yeah, of course Yeah, not. which is funny because you think like as excited as he is about this house, you would think he'd seen that movie. You we also think learned everyone that, on staff would have to. I'm surprised that they have not worked it into Why the is that not mandatory? If you guys are listening at Lindhurst, you should make that mandatory training for all of your tour guides. Agreed. Seconded. Thirded. Thirded. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Is there anything else we want to say about this trip? We learned some really amazing yeah. stories about the people who used to live here, like the fact that this woman... Helen. It, this is my favorite thing Helen about this tour Anne. guide. Hel well, right. Helen was the one that, yeah, but Helen Helen's was the, the older story. sister. I'm, he's, okay, I'm so just the proving that I was listening just, to some of what he said. He would just, like, nonchalantly, like, rattle things off. And he was like, oh, yeah, you know, so, like, the woman who used to, like, sleep in this bedroom, like, you know, she got married when she was 44 to a guy she met at a train crash. And we're like, wait, yeah. wait, what? And like, then it turned out, that, like, like, you know, no big deal. well, I met yeah. this girl at a bar. Like, he said it that casually. Like, you know, how people used to meet at train crashes. Not only did they meet at a train crash, they, like, bonded because they started, like, they, like, jumped out of their train and started saving other people from the other cars. Yeah, because the they said the first two passenger cars fell in the river. Yeah. And she was like, we need like, a movie about like, that so that they could put this place back on the yes. big screen again. Yes. Let's make that happen. I it was that's... really good. And then they got married here. It was a really sweet story where she was basically, I'm imagining her Placandra Bullock playing her because obviously. Right. And she was like 44 and intense and cool and was like, somebody has to save those people in the water. And he's like, <laughs> and he was, I guess, like, let's do this. And like her and Keanu Reeves like went into the water. I'm very excited about it. Let's Can start you just the write script. a speed sequel? Yes. <laughs> good. Is good. that not where we were going? <laughs> I think that's about all the time we have for now. We took um, some pictures that we'll share with you. And thank you for following along on our epic Winter Sail journey. Winter Sail Weekend 2014. Yes. Stop it. Or I'll melt all the snow I'm standing on. Give me a chance and you'll melt all the snow in the world. That means there's going to be other ones, I guess. We could be okay with that. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> I think we're done.